Uh, there are a lot of you who are uh, new to this entire uh, network of uh, IIT Bombay Research Remote Centers. So I will be doing a bit of a history lesson and then get on uh, with the logistics. So the outline of my uh, presentation, I'll be touching on these uh, aspects. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to give a, a background to why this uh, project came about. Uh, as you all know, the number of engineering colleges in the country has grown phenomenally and there isn't always very good qualified faculty to uh, cater to these uh, students. So there is a massive lack of uh, good quality education and uh, there are scarcities of uh, opportunities for teachers as well as students. I, I'm sure all of you empathize with this uh, situation. Professor Fatak uh, was initiated this particular uh, workshop in 2009 and we the official name is empowerment of uh, students and teachers through synchronous and asynchronous instruction and uh, we started it in 2009 and uh, the early phase was with edusat so it was uh, restricted to only those colleges who had the edusat link up but unfortunately later on edusat crashed so we had to uh, look for an, another alternative and uh, amrita university which is our collaborator they came up with a view which is a software which can be used on the internet and it can be uh, used to create a virtual uh, classroom at, uh, atmosphere. Uh, so far we have conducted nine uh, workshops uh, very successfully. The tenth one is about to start on uh, 12th June that is on computational fluid dynamics again at 48 centers across the country and uh, we have handled uh, several core engineering subjects and also some as I said unusual courses like free and open uh, software for uh, engineer, engineering educators, solar photovoltaics and uh, last this February we conducted a very successful uh, program on writing effective conference papers. For that we had a record number of 3500 uh, participants across the country. Yeah, This is the methodology that we follow normally. Uh, the mega workshop is an exception to this rule. We identify institutes across the country and uh, sort of uh, these should be colleges which have a number of other colleges around uh, them so that they could cater to a lot of teachers. And they should have a good infrastructure and good faculty. These are the key people at the remote centers. We have a remote center coordinator. I have given out a, a sheet which contains what we expect of the remote center coordinator and the workshop coordinator during the workshop. Now I'm going to be coming to uh, AVU. This is the most important, the most crucial uh, factor in this entire workshop. If you don't have a good AVU connection, there will be no workshop at your center. It's as simple as that. Because you have, just imagine a situation where uh, you have a uh, class full of uh, people, 50 people, and there's nothing on the screen. They cannot see the uh, faculty from IIT Bombay. So what happens? Nothing. All of you get together and curse IIT Bombay and that's it. But the point is, if you have the good AVU structure, if you have a good infrastructure, you have tested rigorously with our technical team, then there should be no problems at all. There are several people amongst you who have acted as uh, remote center coordinators earlier. Uh, Mr. Ajit Patil, yeah, uh, I suggest that you talk to everybody. They have conducted a very uh, successful uh, workshop on uh, free and open software. So I suggest you consult him, all the new remote centers, consult him about how uh, things should be taken care of at the remote center end. This is another important uh, feature of our uh, workshop. We will be using the Moodle extensively and uh, immediately after our presentation, you will be taken to the lab where you will get a hands-on uh, feel of uh, how to use the Moodle and uh, all our communication everything will be done through the Moodle so please make sure that you are fully familiar with the Moodle. Now I will come to the logistics for the main workshop. The RCC as I said earlier the remote center coordinator and the workshop coordinator are the most important people at the remote center end and they together will be handling the workshop. Uh, we have already advertised on the uh, website. We have also sent out brochures across the country. I have, we have also given you brochures to uh, do the advertisement. 
and we have a database of something like 9,000 teachers. We, mails have already gone to them regarding this. So now the stage is set for uh, the registration. So I request you all to also join in this uh, advertisement campaign and try to get as many participants as possible at your center. It will be a completely online registration. We will maintain the registration here at on our server. And uh, I have said on the uh, website that uh, registration will end on 14th, but we have decided to extend the date to 18th. But please do not ask us to extend the date beyond, beyond 18th, because then logistics will be a problem. This particular workshop, uh, since it is a fully funded workshop, the participants are asked to show proof of their uh, employment. And uh, in case they are not able to upload it on our website, since this is the vacation time, we have asked the participants, the interested participants to show it to the coordinators. So you will be responsible in uh, you know, checking whether the employment uh, proof is fine or not. And uh, we will put up a uh, short list of uh, candidates around, uh, I think by 20th we, shall, we will be able to put up a short list. So on 20th, uh, it will be displayed on the website as well as uh, center wise all the coordinators will be sent a list with the names of the participants and their contact details. So from that moment onwards, it's up to you to contact those uh, participants and uh, you know make sure that uh, we will uh, give them the Moodle ID, uh, make sure that they have clicked on the Moodle, uh, Moodle link and got their Moodle ID, etc. Yeah, we will also display your phone numbers on the uh, website when we display the uh, list of uh, candidates and they will contact you for further uh, information. And uh, we have asked if uh, you could uh, make um, arrangements for uh, accommodation. If you can't, if it's a big city, it's fine. But uh, in smaller places, if there are people coming from out session, I request you to uh, make arrangements. If there are no hostels, of course, we understand. But please uh, try to give them some accommodation at least. Again, uh, before the main workshop, uh, Sajjan Dikshit, uh, our technical manager will send you a detailed schedule about which center is to come for testing. Please, please, please adhere to that uh, schedule. That is a, a very crucial schedule because if you don't come, for, come on that day for testing, it will be very difficult for him to fit you in at another time because there are more than 175 uh, remote centers. It's extremely difficult for us to do anything in those five days. So please, by 16th, he will be able to give you a schedule. So you will all have the schedule beforehand. Please make all the necessary arrangements for the testing. Uh, we will give the Moodle IDs to the participants. And we will also send you the Creative Commons license and the permission slip. Again, the through AVU, we are recording the transmission at your center. And uh, uh, for that, the participants will need to sign that permission slip. Okay. The inaugural and the valedictory functions are held in IIT. They will be transmitted to you. You may you know, uh, invite uh, dignitaries at your place. Uh, where possible, if time permits, we will definitely give a few minutes to your dignitaries to address everybody. But I can't guarantee you that at the moment. It will depend upon if uh, Minister MHRD wants to address the participants and things like that. There is a lot of protocol involved. I can't promise you at the moment. Okay. Uh, we will also provide you helplines, very detailed helplines to help you during the workshop. If you have a problem with AVU or if you have an administration problem or if you have problem with uh, Moodle, everything there will be a, a, a number available to you, who, a person whom you can contact and get the problem solved. And uh, we will be conducting extensive quizzes and solving assignments using Moodle. All the participants, this is a research methodology workshop. It will involve a lot of writing assignments. So it is up to you, the workshop coordinators, to monitor this assignment and submission. These are the general uh, timings. It's uh, expected to begin at 9 and end at 5.30. And uh, I, we will. Uh, of course, mail the schedule to all of you and uh, we will also put it up on the website as well as the Moodle. Now the Moodle is the forum where all of us can you know, uh, gather and 
exchange doubts, queries, solutions, everything. Now, I come to the post main workshop. There will be a final assignment given to all the participants. It will, they will be given two weeks to do that assignment after the workshop. And once they submit a, that assignment, see that two weeks time will give us also the time to prepare the certificates. So that two weeks they are supposed to do the assignments and submit it on the Moodle. You will have to monitor it. Only then you will be uh, asked to give them the certificates. We have planned on a participation certificate as well as a certificate of excellence. We started this in our uh, solar uh, photovoltaic workshop and uh, uh, to participants who did really well in all the assignments, we have decided to give certificates of uh, excellence. And uh, it is again uh, the workshop coordinator's uh, job to find to locate these good uh, uh, you know, uh, assignments and uh, let us know. And then we will be publishing all the contents like slides, assignments, etc. Uh, we will be posting them on our portal which uh, will be released sometime uh, in a couple of months. And uh, everything will be there in open source for anybody to uh, access and use. Now we come to funds. Uh, my colleague uh, Mrs. Gaitonde will uh, speak more in more detail about it. But these are the general points. We will fund the workshop at the uh, remote centers. And uh, we normally uh, transfer the funds uh, according to the number of participants that are registered at your centers. So we will have to wait till the end, till the last date of registration. That is why I knew earlier not to extend the date, not to uh, you know extend the date of registration because that will make things very difficult for us. Because bank transfers do uh, you know require some uh, some days. And we have had complaints in the past where uh, coordinators have asked for, uh, you know, please extend the date to the very uh, day before the workshop and then they have complained that the funds have not reached them in time. So we do not want that to happen. We do not want you to suffer uh, for the lack of funds. So please, uh, these are the details uh, we require from you. I will be, uh, of course, sending a detail. All this I will be sending to you by email, so you do not have to write it down just now. Yeah, the funds include uh, TA for outstation participants only. Remember, this is a mega workshop. This is a 10,000 participant workshop. We will not be able to fund uh, any travel allowance for the uh, in-house participants this time. And for food, uh, the lodging uh, and boarding uh, expenses for outstation participants only and the other things. She will speak in more detail about it. Uh, she will also speak about the utilization certificate, etc. Next one, please. Uh, these are the uh, nine workshops that we have uh, conducted so far. The last one was uh, writing effective conference papers. And uh, the next one, the tenth one in the series is uh, starting on the 12th of June, uh, computational fluid dynamics. Uh, this is our project team. You will be interacting in detail with a lot of these people. Next one. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, MHRD, Amrita University, who is our collaborator, IIT Bombay, IST, and of course, all the remote centers without whom this will be very difficult. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we will now discuss the financial support for the main workshop. Uh, the entire process will be in three steps, fund transfer, uh, fund utilization and final settlement. Now for the fund transfers, we will require the bank details of all the remote centers. Uh, we will provide a format in which all remote centers will furnish their bank details to us. The bank account has to be in the name of the institute and it should not be in a personal name. We will start the bank transfer after the registration closes and we will complete them before the main workshop starts. Now the next step is the fund utilization. Now the hard copies of the budget is given to you. This budget is in two parts, fixed cost and a variable cost. Now under fixed cost there are various columns and subheads. The columns will show the number of team members to be hired for the workshop and also the fund entitlement. Depending on the total number of participants at your remote center, you will select your column of fixed cost entitlement. 
The subheads under fixed cost are honoraria, uh, miscellaneous expenses and institute expenses. Honoraria will be paid to remote center coordinator, workshop coordinator, network coordinator, teaching and technical assistance and support staff. Uh, miscellaneous and contingent expenses. This budget has to be used for registration kits for your participants, printing, stationery, photocopy charges, postage and chartered accountant fees. The third subhead under this fixed cost is institute expenses. This amount has to be transferred to your institute account for the common facilities provided by your institute uh, such as infrastructure, uh, electricity, telephones, etc. The next part of the budget is the variable cost. Uh, under variable cost, the subheads are food, accommodation and travel. All remote centers will arrange lunch and tea twice a day for their participants and also for their team members. Uh, remote centers will also arrange accommodation for outstation participants. Travel reimbursement will be paid only to outstation participants and that will be up to rupees 1000 all inclusive yeah, and on submission of travel bills only. The total number of participants will be different for each remote center. Therefore, each remote center will calculate their own uh, variable cost. So, the total cost for the remote center will be fixed cost entitlement plus their calculated variable cost. Now, we come to the final settlement of the advance sent by IIT Bombay. After the workshop is over, all remote centers will prepare final settlements in the formats provided by IIT Bombay. There will be two main documents, utilization certificate and a receipt and payment statement. Both these documents are to be printed on your institute letterhead and they are to be signed by both the coordinators and the final settlement has to be certified by chartered accountant and this is our audit requirement, it, it has to be CA certified. The settlement has to reach us within one month after the repeat what the final settlement ok. The main documents will be utilization certificate and receipt and payment statement. Both these documents are to be printed on, a, on your institute letterhead and they are to be signed by both the coordinators and the final settlement has to be certified by a chartered accountant. The settlement has to reach us within one month after the workshop gets over. All this information regarding fund transfer, fund utilization and final set settlement will be mailed to you before the workshop. We will, we will also send you the formats. Also we will be available on mails and telephones if you have any queries regarding the financials. Okay, that is all about the budget. If you have any queries we will take them. Yeah. No, it has to be CA certified. Yeah, I was about to make that uh, That's an announcement. That is an audit, audit uh, requirement. requirement from IIT Bombay. We have to submit a CA certified CA. Yes. No, no. No. It has Those to rules don't apply to this project. Yeah. You will have to buy them. We have them. Yeah. So, what will it contain? A folder or a bag and a notebook, like we have given you the folder, exactly, no? exactly, exactly the what we have given you. 